Hi, welcome to this new video on the mighty Australian salmon. You know, over the years, the Australian salmon has got somewhat of a reputation as a poor quality eating fish. But today I want to dispel that as a myth. They actually are really good to eat. They are amazing fighters, great fun to catch, and they exist in abundance all the way from almost northern Western Australia right down through the Great Australian Bight, Victoria, and all the way up to southern Queensland, you can catch Australian salmon. Average weight salmon is roughly one to two kilos, which is a great eating size fit. Another awesome feature about the Australian salmon is the yield that you get from a salmon. And what I mean by yield is the actual ratio of flesh to the anatomy of the fish. And certainly with a salmon, it's excellent. You get fantastic fillets off a salmon, beautiful thick fillets of fish. Yep, bought this from the market this morning. I purposely told them not to, not to clean it, so they show it to you all. And truly, this is my first time looking at this fish and this is one of the fish that Australians don't like in fact they call it neighbor's fish because whenever they caught this fish when they go fishing uh, they don't want to bring it home to eat it and then they will pass it to their neighbor and the neighbor will oblige and reluctantly take it and say thank you what they do with the fish we do not know so this is called uh, Australian salmon uh, It's not salmon at all, I think My friends that I know, they don't like this fish They don't even eat it at all actually So, so we're gonna try to uh, clean this fish Fillet it and cook it And see how bad or how good it is As usual, your knife must be very very sharp I would always start here, I guess Yep, like that Look like quite a good fish, you know just like other fish actually mm. look like quite a good fish honestly look at that be careful of the stomach here yeah? look at that mm -hmm. as simple as that all right see so i got the first fillet so now is to to remove the skin yeah yeah see Hold on to this and just go all the way. Ooh, it's easy. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at that. And you got a nice beautiful fillet. Okay, this is what I want to find out if there's any bone at all. Oh my god, this fish has got no bone. Okay, this side of it. There's no bone at all. Beautiful fish. And here, hey, there's no bone. Why did I need to do that? There's no bone at all, this fish. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful fillet. Cook this separately later on. Look at that. I don't know why they don't like the fish. It looks like a beautiful fish to me. Let's do. There's a the skin, remove. Again, as usual, somewhere around here. Again, cut here, yeah. Oh, that's it, see? Ah, oh, this is a nice fish. Normally just go all the way. See? Yeah, put this aside. Just make a small cut here. Go this way. And then I go back this way. And I just hold this and pull. Simple. That's noisy. That's my dishwasher. Are you done yet? That's it. Good. Woo. Simple. Woo. Good one. There's no bone. No bone. There's no bone at all, this fish. This is such a good fish. This is what I have. Beautiful one. Alright. Okay, I have uh, sweet paprika ground white pepper and a little bit of black pepper a little bit of salt yeah oops three pieces yeah just three three pieces of it i would actually start with a little bit of lime 
just rub that lime in I guess it is salmon but the color is different <laughs> and then a bit of pepper on each side I happen to have also black pepper with me my, why not just a little bit so the lime actually helped to absorb the pepper in paprika I guess yeah and finally salt okay that's it just a tiny bit of oil really not much feel whether it's hot or not by putting your hand above it if you feel it's hot it's right Ooh, wow it's hot okay here we go one i always start with the skin down so yeah really looking good maybe for about a minute or two Ooh, look how beautiful is that Ooh, ain't that beautiful Next, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, a little bit of garlic now. Okay, I'm going to also put a piece of butter, and the butter helps to not to cook the garlic too quickly. So I can turn it again to get both sides absorbed. The garlic smell and the butter. That's beautiful. If I take it out, I'll just put a little bit of spring onion, give some color. Okay, turn this again. You know what? I really, really like lime. So I'm going to use more lime here. Get it. Okay, that's about done. Time to serve. Here is okay. Again, a little nice. Look at that. Okay, so always whenever you cook, leave it to rest at least for five minutes. Okay, here we go. Well, it does look like salmon though. Look at that. That is so good. And. Uh, there's no bone at all, this fish. Mm. Yep, it does taste like salmon, but not as um, not as fatty as salmon. This is so, so good. Look at that. Mm. I do like this fish. There's no bone. Look at that white meat. Wow. That is so, so good. This is just so, so good. The butter smell, the garlic oil, just wonderful. Okay, this is filet, so I'm just going to put a bit of salt. Still, I'm going to put a bit of lime, a bit of pepper. I'm going to use um, breadcrumb. Press that in. Yeah, this I should be able to flip it now. Ooh, that's beautiful. Let's flip it one last time. Ooh, look at the chili sauce. Go ahead, there. And to just garnish. That's it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Alright, normally I should leave it for at least five minutes, but. I can't wait. I'm gonna eat it right now. Oh, look at it. Crispy. Wonderful. Honestly, it's flaky like salmon, look. Beautiful. So, I would say this is a very good fish. The real salmon, the pink salmon, the or orangey salmon, salmon. $30, $40 a kilo. And I got this for, for $9.90. It's cheap because not many people want it. That's why it is called neighbor's fish. It's really good. Honestly, I would prefer this fish, Australian salmon, as compared to the normal salmon. This fish has got no smell at all, really. It's really, really good. It's just like the normal, maybe what? Baramandi? No. Baramandi has got no taste. This one has got a bit of taste. 
Yeah, I'm going to cook the other pieces using uh, a one instant curry sauce and this is also meant for fish so let's try so I have a bit of oil not too much, just a little bit water and just let that to simmer for a while Alright, this is looking good. Maybe a bit more water. I happen to have soup nearby, so okra, already fingers. And a bit of that too. Okay, reduce the fire to medium. Yeah. I like my curry to be thick and creamy so i'm putting this evaporated full cream evaporated milk if you have uh, coconut milk that will do too but this is what i have in my fridge right now so look at that color it's beautiful and this goes with rice or even roti you know it's perfect just leave that and let it simmer look at this Get a piece, maybe two of this, three pieces of fish. That will do. This is so good. This is a good fish to cook anyhow you want to cook it. So this is actually curry or rendang. Mm, okra. Oh, look at that. Look at the meat. Look how beautiful that meat is. Well, there you have it. Sorry guys, I'm not talking because I'm enjoying it. So if you have not tried uh, Australian salmon, if you are in Australia or New Zealand, go and get and buy and try. If you have similar type of fish in your place, in your country, please leave a message in the comment. Maybe you call it different name and you will, call, you will cook it differently. I'll leave the rest of it for another meal.